Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome. My name is T and this is my channel, Compassy and Sewing. You can also find me by the handle over on Instagram. I'll put the information in the description box below of my Instagram account and you can go over and follow me on Instagram. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing this week. Um, there have been a lot of you subscribing to my channel this week. So thank you so much. And if you are returning, thank you for always returning and showing me love and your support. All right. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my sewing makes. So this is a roundup video of all the sewing makes I've made in October and November. Well, not all of them, but most of them. I was surprised by how many garments I have made, especially since I am homeschooling my five-year-old this year. I cannot believe how much I have gotten done. I am very proud of myself. Um, not everything made the list because I've had quite a bit of fails. So, and I'll talk more about my fails um, in a video, in an upcoming video. I am going to make a video of uh, my 2020 sewing fails. So stay tuned for that video and I'll tell you all about um, why those particular garments were fails and what I did wrong and what I could do better or if it was the pattern then um, I'll tell you about the pattern and why it didn't work for me. All right so anyway stay tuned for that video. So let's get into this video and talk more about these sewing makes that I've made. So first I want to start with the skirts that I've made. The first skirt that I made was the hurler skirt pattern. And this is a pattern that I was a tester for, for uh, Schultz Apparel. And I'll put her information in the description box below, as well as all of the um, indie pattern companies um, in the description box below as well. And then also the patterns that I use for the commercial patterns, I'll put those in the description box below as well so that you could go over and um, check all those things out just in case you're interested. All right, so this particular pattern, um, I won't tell all the features of all the patterns because I have pattern reviews of most of these. So um, I'll put eye cards in here as well. So you can go over and check those out as well. So anyway, this hurler skirt pattern is amazing it is a gathered skirt however you know how most gathered skirts are gathered up near the waistline this particular skirt is not like that so it has a yoke and the yoke is um basically it's a dropped yoke and the gathers are dropped so the gathers sit about um right above i would say about a quarter of an inch or so above your hip uh, the fullest part of your hip so it's a really interesting design and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to test it because the yoke is so pretty the gathers aren't at my waist uh, which i really like because you know with most dress patterns or skirt patterns you have those gathers are way up there and it's just sometimes just not attractive on um, some figures uh, like mine. So I really like this particular skirt pattern. And um, anyway, I made this out of a linen fabric. Um, it's very gorgeous. The only thing I didn't like about this make is that um, with the linen fabric, with most linens, it wrinkles and it's just a pain to keep, um, <laughs> to keep um, pressed. So anyway, but I like the, the make itself. It's just the fabric. Um, but this is a gorgeous pattern. Love it. Absolutely love it. The second skirt pattern that I used was uh, by uh, So So Easy. And I'll put the link to that in the description box below as well. Um, as far as I know, all of the patterns on So So Easy dot com is um, not only are they easy, but they're free. And so this particular uh, pencil skirt pattern that I got off the website is a color block pencil skirt and it's very easy um, I'll put some pictures of um, some of the ones that I made actually I don't have pictures of these ones yet <laughs> I, don't, I haven't made pictures of these yet but let me show you 
a few of the designs that I made last month, but I also made this uh, pattern the month before last as well. And I have about five of these now. So this is one that I made to go with the Vera top. And I'll tell you about that Vera top here in a moment. But um, this particular skirt was made out of um, two double brush knit fabrics. So the black is a solid uh, double brush knit and the print is a double brush knit as well. It's very soft, very easy. Now you can see with my particular pattern, with my skirt, it, I created a pattern here for a waistband. The original pattern doesn't come with the waistband. I just created my own waistband because I actually like waistbands instead of um, sewing elastic into the garment itself. I like to actually have a waistband. But I also have made the pattern without the waistband as well. Um, I mean, it's still a really great pattern, so don't let that scare you off. This is the second skirt that I made with the So So Easy uh, pattern last month, and I like this one as well. Um, this one is actually made out of a really soft uh, crepe fabric, so the print is crepe as well as the solid black uh, fabric is also a crepe fabric as well. And, um, and I also created a waistband for this one as well. So again, very simple, easy patterns. I'll put the information in the description box below so you can go over and download those patterns as well. Um, <clears throat> next, I made the McCall's M7970, which is a dress pattern. Um, I forget how many variations it has, but I did a full review of that particular pattern and I'll put a link um, to that video in this video so you can go over and check out that video. I've made um, three dresses out of that pattern and um, only two really worked out. And so you'll see the two in that video as well. And I'll go ahead and pop a video or image up here so you can actually see what the garment looks like. I'll show you pictures of um, what I've made as well as a little uh, video as well. But I made a, a black and floral, a black, uh, I used a black floral fabric and it's rayon chalet. It's really drapey, really nice. Um, the pattern has, it calls for, um, well, it has different variations. And one of the variations that I chose is with the flounce going down the neck, which I really like it. Um, I, I did, however, I had to put a snap there, but again, check out my video and you'll learn more about that. So it's a really beautiful pattern. Um, the second version that I made was out of a dotted uh, blue and white fabric from Joanne Fabrics. And um, basically it's the same dress. Um, I only made some small alterations to it. Um, I think I increased it in size and I lengthened it. And so yeah, check out the video. You'll learn more about that. For my Thanksgiving dress, I use the Cashmere River Mott pattern. Um, this pattern actually comes with, uh, it's a two-in-one pattern. So um, there's the Rivermont dress and then there's the Rivermont peplum top. I've made both of these prior to making my Thanksgiving dress. I made these about two years ago and I have reviews on those as well. And then I did a redo review of my uh, Thanksgiving dress as well. And this pattern is a dream. I love this pattern pattern. I cannot believe that I don't have more of these dresses in my closet as a staple. Um, I really need to get on that because I really love this dress. Um, I, I chose a caramel and black hounds to fabric from mood fabrics. It's a Jersey knit. It's so beautiful. It's a digital print fabric and, um, it's so comfortable. And what I like about this cashmere at Rivermont pattern is that you can dress it up or you could dress it down. It just depends on the type of fabric that you use. And it does have a, um, a good um, array of fabrics that you can select from as well. So again, check out my review on that. I made a McCall's pattern. This McCall's pattern, I made McCall's M7515, which is a pattern. It's a, um, a PJ pattern. 
And my daughter, before um, she left home, she purchased some um, some fabric. It's um, a Scottish dog fabric. It's a Christmas fabric. Um, and then I also purchased some after she purchased some so that I can make my, my, uh, son some PJs as well. And she wanted view B, which is this view right here, the long, um, nightgown. And that's what I made her now because she's not home. Um, and I'm very close in size to her and this pattern is a little oversized. I decided to model it for you. And so that you can see it on a real person instead of on the dress form. So I'll post, put some pictures here so you can see what that looks like as well. Um, it's really easy. It's a simple, simple, easy make. Um, the pattern has the front, the back, the sleeves, and you have two facing pieces for the front and the back. And that's it. Um, it's very easy. The big collaboration that I did um, for the month of November, I did a collaboration with um, uh, someone named Angie. She's a wonderful person. Um, she's over on Instagram and she goes by Angie Denise underscore boutique. And I'll put her in information in the description box below, just in case you want to go over and, and follow her. And it will be for good reason. Trust me, trust me, trust me. She has a really wonderful site and, um, her fee is just really wonderful. So anyway, we did a collaboration and this is our second collaboration together. We did one last year. And um, last year we made a Vogue pattern together. This year we decided that we were going to make a Mimi G pattern together. And we, um, we settled on the, well, I shouldn't say settled. We selected the Mimi G S8890. And um, it's this jacket pattern right here. And we did um, the jacket, which is view A. Um, this is a beautiful pattern. Um, the only thing that I would recommend is don't do this with corduroy <laughs> unless you want a headache. Trust me. Um, I had, I purchased this beautiful plum berry, uh, pl plum boysenberry, um, cotton corduroy from, uh, mood fabric. And it had like a medium size the, the wells were like medium, medium size. I can't, I don't know the number of the wells, but they weren't really thick wells and they weren't really fine. Uh, you know, the fine feather wells. Um, but they were pretty, um, you know, a medium sized, um, but it was so thick. It was really hard to work with. Um, so it was quite a bit of a challenge. Now the pattern wasn't that much of a challenge. It was the corduroy that was a challenge. And it was so difficult to the point where I just had to sit the project to the side for a couple of days and then go back and revisit it and then sit it back to the side again. Um, I had never seen rip so much in my life. It was a, it was a beautiful pattern to work with though. Um, we also decided to make, um, a skirt as well because Mimi G, um, with her corduroy, outfit it was the the jacket and the skirt so we also decided to make skirts as well and um i decided on this berta 6252 which is this pattern right here um it's a pattern that has two variations of an a-line skirt um the closure is buttons going down the center of the front you have a waistband for view a there are tabs and oversized pockets on the front of the skirt for view b um, you also have oversized, oversized pockets, but they're like slanted pockets. And then it's a longer version of the skirt as well, which is ankle length. Whereas the, um, the shorter version view a, that's more of a mini skirt. But anyway, I am going to be giving my full review of both the Mimi G pattern, the Simplicity S8890, as well as the Berta 6252 next week. So stay tuned for those two, uh, reviews. Well, anyway... Uh, that's basically everything that I sewed for October and November. I was really pleased with how much I was able to get done. Like I said, this isn't a, this isn't an all inclusive list, but this was like the major things that I've made throughout the month. And, um, I'm really pleased with how much I was able to get done, especially because 
I have my son at home now full time. But um, anyway, thank you for tuning in and watching till the end. Um, please make sure you like this video if you found it enjoyable. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and a notification bell to receive notifications of my videos when I post them if you haven't done so already. All right, thank you so much. And again, stay tuned for next week's video and I will see you all next week. And until next time, stay, stay creative. Bye.